The speculation has been confirmed. I will give a little bit of credit here to NBA Commissioner Adam Silver. Not very often that I offer praise to arguably the worst commissioner in sports, but I got to admit, I do appreciate his honesty. Now, I don't think Adam Silver was being fully honest. He damn sure wasn't as transparent as I would have liked, but that's okay. That's okay. At least Adam Silver gave us a little bit of honesty, which as you guys know, honesty nowadays is a lost quality. One of the main reasons that the legacy media is struggling. Media can't seem to figure out why millions of people are turning them off when the answer is rather simple. Same reason that cackling Cam Harris is struggling to resonate with damn near every voting demographic. A complete lack of honesty, a complete lack of authenticity. Last week, I told you guys about a report in the New York Post that claimed that NBA owners were frustrated with the WNBA dump. Now, if you got all your news from the media, you would think the WNBA is amazing. The dump now has huge stars. It only took the WNBA three decades to become an overnight success. Throughout the summer, the mainstream media, they were shamelessly promoting pretend basketball. They were bragging about the supposed success of the WNBA. They were giving credit to Angel Reese. They were giving credit to A.J. Wilson. They were talking about the drawing power of Sabrina Ionescu, how Sabri has the capability to draw hundreds of people to a high school gym in Brooklyn to watch her compile bricks for Barbie's dream house. The media was giving credit to everyone, except the one star, the only star, responsible for the WNBA's success. I don't even have to say her name. You know exactly who I'm talking about. When you think of professional wrestling, you think of Hulk Hogan. When you think of the NBA, you think of Michael Jordan. NFL, Tom Brady, or in my case, Drew Brees. College football, Nick Saban. When you think of elite commentary and analysis on the shit fucks in the media, you think of Uncle KC. And when you think of the WNBA, you think of Caitlin Clark, which is a huge step in the right direction for the league. For the past 30 years, when people thought of the WNBA, Well, they didn't. No one knew it existed. But anyway, the media, they have been spanking the wanker all summer, excited about the supposed success in the dump. It was another classic case of the media giving you a partial truth, or as we call it here on the channel, the shit sandwich. It's true. The WNBA experienced unprecedented success this season in terms of television ratings and attendance. Now, I'll be the first to admit, I was wrong about Caitlin Clark. I did not think that Caitlin Clark would be able to save the WNBA, and she proved me wrong. Problem is, that success, it did not translate financially. The WNBA is still having a very difficult time generating that pesky profit. The same profit that's eluded the dump for the last 30 years. Last week, I shared a report from the New York Post claiming that NBA owners are getting increasingly frustrated with the financial abyss known as the WNBA dump. Now, at the time, the report was mostly speculative. I believed it. The New York Post, they are one of the more reliable sources in the mainstream media, but there wasn't confirmation from the NBA itself. There wasn't confirmation from the league until now. If you haven't already, make sure to like and subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter at KC underscore BTL84. Link to the second channel in the description below. Earlier this morning on the second channel, we talked about San Jose State and the Fighting Flemings demanding to be compensated financially from other programs. The Fighting Flemings, they want other volleyball teams to pay them damages financially if their young women refuse to compete against Blair Fleming, who just so happens to be a former man. So if you haven't already, head on over to the second channel and subscribe. Tuesday night, Adam Silver was interviewed on CNBC. Well, KC, what the hell is CNBC? Yeah, I had forgotten that CNBC was still on the air. CNBC is the division of NBC News that is dedicated to business. It's kind of like Fox Business, but it sucks. 
Now you might be wondering, why is a business network talking to Adam Silver? This asshole has destroyed the NBA. Yeah. Yeah, the NBA damn sure ain't what it used to be. Now some of that can be blamed on Adam Silver. He has definitely watered down or softened the product. Officiating the NBA, it's the worst in all of sports. Me personally, I think NBA officials have been... For lack of a better word, let's just say I'm starting to wonder if NBA officials have been compromised. There are calls in this league that are made, some with the benefit of replay, that make absolutely no sense. And they make you question the legitimacy of the league. Adam Silver, he has definitely damaged the NBA, but I do have to give him credit. He must be one hell of a businessman. Adam Silver must be one hell of a negotiator. Somehow, with the NBA struggling to draw flies to a fresh turn, with ratings for the NBA Finals being complete shit for the last five years, somehow, Adam Silver, he still managed to swindle $76 billion from the networks. $76 billion for a league that averages less than $2 million during the regular season. And for the last five years, they have been struggling to draw during the playoffs. I guess CNBC was interviewing Adam Silver so he could teach other business owners how to be shrewd negotiators so they can properly swindle people too. But during the interview, some unknown dude from CNBC, he asked Adam Silver about the report from the New York Post. He asked Adam Silver about the frustration of NBA owners, but the way he asked the question was strange. He framed the question with the insinuation that NBA owners are frustrated with the current valuations of WNBA teams. NBA owners are frustrated that WNBA teams are being undervalued because the NBA owns a majority stake in the league. Now, while that may be true, that is not how I understood this report from the New York Post. The way I understood the report was that NBA owners, they are frustrated because the WNBA had all this success this year and they still lost $40 million. Now, if I was interviewing Adam Silver, I would have said, this dump continues to lose millions of dollars every year. It has cost NBA owners hundreds of millions of dollars over the past few decades. Why is the WNBA allergic to making money? Instead, CNBC, they asked Adam Silver to confirm if NBA owners were frustrated with the dump. Now, although the answer Adam Silver gave was vague, which was to be expected, he did subtly confirm the frustration of owners in the NBA. Watch it for yourself. Was that story correct? Are you working with owners to try to address that issue? Yeah, I, I, there was a lot of different points in that story, so it's hard yeah. to say correct or not correct. <laughs> I would just say the answer is yes, we're working with WNBA owners, WNBA owners that also own NBA teams, and then more broadly, the NBA owners on what the right valuation of WNBA teams are going forward, what the best way is to operate that league. We're collectively looking at all those issues, figuring out the right way to operate going forward. I see you, Adam. I see you being shifty. It might have been subtle. But that is as much confirmation as you can expect to get from Adam Silver. If NBA owners were not frustrated, Adam Silver, he would have had no problem saying that report from the New York Post is bullshit. NBA owners love pretend basketball. Hmm. Truth is, NBA owners, they are very frustrated and they've got every right to be. When you make an investment, you expect a return, right? If one of your good friends started a business and you invested some capital to help them start up, you're going to eventually expect a return. Maybe you give them 12 months, maybe you give them two years, but at some point, you are going to expect something in return. If five years goes by and you haven't seen a single dollar, you're going to be frustrated. Now take that frustration and multiply it by 30 years. NBA owners have been investing in the WNBA for 30 years and they have never seen a Colombian peso in profit. I would imagine they're starting to get pissed off. 
Over the summer, entitled players and former players in the WNBA, they complained about the generous donation that the NBA gave them after negotiating their TV deal. Of the 7 or $8 billion that the NBA receives from the networks every year, the league, they generously donated $200 million to the WNBA. Entitled WNBA players, they did what they do best. They whined and complained about it. They said Adam Silver should have allowed the WNBA to negotiate with the network separately from the NBA. As it turns out, that's exactly what happened. CNBC, they asked Adam Silver about the negotiations. Now, he confirmed that they tried negotiating the dump separately from the NBA. Basically, Adam Silver confirmed that the television networks, they set the price for the WNBA, not the NBA. Watch it yourself. I guess the question is, should we collectively have gone out and had separate discussions Correct. around the WNBA? I would say, in essence, we did. So we'll see whether the marketplace suggests there's different valuations than the one we did. I would say, in the aggregate, with the deals we already did, plus the deals that the WNBA now um, is going to do, the remaining packages, you're looking at roughly a six times increase from the current rights fees. Um, could we have done even better than that? I'm not sure. I believe him. I think the previous deal for the WNBA was worth $60 million a season. The new deal, it's worth $200 million, which sounds fair, sounds about right. Seems like a fair amount for the dump. Now, me personally, I think $200 million for the WNBA is $200 million too much. I would not pay $200 for the rights to broadcast pretend basketball. Now, do I think the networks would have paid $200 million for the WNBA if the NBA was not included in the package? Absolutely not. I think the networks looked at the WNBA as an add-on to the NBA package. But I believe Adam Silver when he says that the networks determine the value. You know what's going to be interesting? There's a lot of frustration from all sides right now in the WNBA. Players are frustrated because they feel devalued. Players feel like they're being underpaid. Owners, they are frustrated because they've invested hundreds of millions of dollars into this league and they've never seen a return. Now, both sides, they are going to be forced to come together to argue over money that the WNBA doesn't seem to have. <laughs> Give me your thoughts on this. Adam Silver subtly confirms the report from the New York Post that claimed NBA owners are frustrated with the dump. Do you think the WNBA's success is sustainable? Was last season a one-off? Caitlin Clark had all that momentum coming out of college, and a month later, it carried over to the WNBA. Do you think that happens again next season? Can the WNBA maintain that momentum and even grow from it? Let me know. Sound off in the comments below. Like, subscribe, share the video. Appreciate your support. Best way to contact me is by email at btlkc84 at gmail.com and I'll see you guys tomorrow.